to readjust the string but in case you didn't know we're washboard confessionals from Inwood West Virginia that's that's exit 5 <laughs> if you're on your way home and you get confused it has lovely attractions like Herbie's racist barbershop the food line parking lot where you can drink all night and uh, Los Lobos which isn't so bad really and uh, the next song is called Seppuku, but don't be fooled by its morbid name. It's really actually a love song that happens to be a little morbid. How are we doing, Greg? We're good. We're good. It's Seppuku, which is, Seppuku is the uh, ritualistic Japanese suicide. <laughs> yeah, but it's really, it's not as bad as it sounds, the, the song, not, not the act itself. <laughs> But, uh, okay.
That's a good one. Because you see, uh, you know, you know we're, we're the postmodern alternative West Virginia bluegrass band, which is pretty close to being a country band, but not really. And uh, I'm getting really tired of these country songs that are just like about being an alcoholic and not straight out saying that. You know, a, a good example would be I Love This Bar by Toby Keith, or It's Five O'Clock Somewhere featuring a guy and Jimmy Buffett, because it's really about alcoholism. Alan Jackson. Alan Jackson. Thank you, DK. And uh, <laughs> so instead of writing a song glorifying alcoholism, we wrote a song that's blatantly about alcoholism. It's called Another Blatant Song About Alcoholism. Here's another blatant song about alcoholism Cause I can't get through work Without a visit from my friends Double J's Jack and Jim, I bet my ex-wife can tell you all about them She left me when she found me in bed With my best friend Remy Martin But that was when I could exhort such a special taste But not anymore Now I'm sipping on hurricanes until I hit the floor songs to go unless you want to hear cicado bug but that's a little sketchy sometimes <laughs> Try it. all right uh -oh. <laughs> this guy's adventurous 
This was a lot more relative a couple months ago, but uh, and, and this is pretty much entirely improv. So <laughs> it's hit or miss. All right. Uh, Thank <laughs> you. 
It's the first song we ever wrote. It's called Knives Out, Toys and Condoms. This is how it goes. <laughs> the whole thing. We understand what you had to go through. Thank you very much. Wicker Hat is coming up. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you guys.